I know that we're all here for Rock the Vote, and it's an important time in, in American history. So come this November, I would like to see everybody out at the polls. But before we get started, it's one thing that I would like to say to address our nation. Trying to live my funky life. Why you wanna funk with me? TV got me like poltergeist, and then the radio poison frequency. News reporters always distort us. It's another year of the new war order. Racism still exists. Gangland warfare in this bitch. Bombing countries and selling dope. Weapons with scopes that kill your hope. Suicidal on a rival, and then they go tribal just for survival. Terrorism, capitalism, dressed up political activism. One more strike and it's back in prison. That leaves me with one decision. Policeman patrol my block. Predators out and he's on the clock. Flash of lights are telling me to stop. Social profile and filthy cop. Congressman, an honest man, a dirty politician and a campaign plan. How to fight crime and drug addiction while they're giving out time on a guilt conviction. District attorney and your attorney and a judge and a man on an endless journey. Pack the jails and rotate the doors. Incite the riots, attack the poor. The big machine, the little device, the innocent people that paid the price. You want to violate my human rights. I can't let you control my life. Remember the right to vote. It's in your hands. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is AC Alone, and I'm here on Freestyle 101 G4 TV, here to talk a little bit about Rock the Vote and this up and coming election in November. Your voice counts. I think this election is important because I think certain people are starting to see the hope for a little change, a little change in the way our country has been ran over the last couple decades and, and ability to have a new standing in the world. As a worldwide community, we all need to come to a, a, a better understanding. I know, you know, mankind still has some things to deal with, but America being a superpower that it is, can have some, some um, control or definitely some input in making some right decisions on curving the way that we all live here on this planet. So I think that right now it's like, it's not that things are gonna happen overnight, but I think they see the possibility of change. And, and, and something new happening, a new direction and, and a new, new, new take on things as far as our country is concerned. You know, we have, we have a new generation of people, of leaders that, that are willing to take, take the forefront. For the kids to go out there and feel that their vote counts and, and, fit, and to get actively involved in politics, they will have to be in a situation where they know that their vote actually counts and they know that the changes that they're going for are actually there. I mean, the youth have to have to see a lane and a pathway to know, like, okay, I count in this country, you know, my vote counts, and how that all trickles down to me as as a young as a young citizen, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, I, I know about the stance of like, hey, you know, why vote? Because where is it going to get me? It's just all going to be the same in the end. But I think if you can see some kind of light at the end of the tunnel you can see okay well this this possibly could happen and, and you know maybe you know it's a time it's a time for it right now so hip-hop has always had a degree of politics the best political rappers are Chuck D of course I, I would say Chuck D because when I was a youth and I was like you know 16 and 17 he actually brought a lot of conscious things to my to you know to light and, and, you know, he showed me a different direction, different path, and, you know, ways to think about things. I mean, it can influence kids. KRS-One has always been up there. It's not directly, like, political, but it's, it's, it's conscious. And, and, and when it's conscious and it involves, like, a worldwide perspective, then all that stuff comes into play, you know? He, he deals a lot with history, a lot with the present, and issues we probably need to deal with in, in our community and whatever. And, and he's political. But I've learned a lot from a lot of different rappers, you know. Don't forget, rock the vote. Need you. <laughs>